We're going to be implementing the source calculations and destination calculation methods here. If we go into the sprite arrow.java file, just above where we put in our sprite uh, detect sprite direction method, put in two empty methods, uh, one called source calculation and one called destination calculations, SRC and DST. Just made a note here that they're both expecting delta t in seconds, which is what we pass in from the game loop into this object when we call it. And these two methods, although empty at the moment, are called from the update method just above, which also expects the delta t in seconds. This is what your update method is going to look like. And at this point, once you've tapped that in, you can close it, minimize it, and not worry too much about it. The source calculation is nice and easy. We were calculating the y top left and the x top left. Go into our source calculation method. We're just going to mirror what we've got in that uh, illustration. So here we've got uh, source y position is equal to the row, which we've, we're going to detect, multiplied by the height. And for now, we're keeping the x position as zero, as we've mentioned here. Now the destination calculation on the actual screen itself do you remember we had our sprites going along the border, rectangular motion and diagonal motion bouncing off the sides? So we're going to have to detect what type of motion we've kicked this sprite off with. If we look at the destination calculations, we use an if-else loop. And if any of our destination y directions are zero or destination x directions are zero, it means that we're following the border. And if uh, you want a refresh of rectangular motion, Rewatch tutorial 45 because we covered that with the queen and circles. And if it's not uh, doing a rectangular motion, the other option in our implementation is diagonally. So in else, otherwise our motion is moving diagonally. You can watch uh, tutorial 40 for a refresher. Back then we had um, diagonal motion. So all we're going to do now is just uh, reap the benefits of all the hard work we've done before. And I'm going to cut and paste the equations. So I ah, need to uh, import that. This block of code we'll move our sprites around the border. Copy that across. You've seen this before. And the diagonal motion, and the diagonal motion is described by this code. If you copy that across into the bracket, and for a refresher, you can watch tutorial 40. And that's where I'd like to leave it. We've implemented the source and the destination calculations, and we'll do some cutting and pasting in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.